morning and welcome back. It is Tuesday the 6th of July, I do believe. Can you believe it? 6th of July. Blimey, O'Reilly. Um, it's about 11 o'clock and I've been in the shop for about an hour, but I had a customer in for quite a bit and I was having a good long chat, <laughs> like you do. Um, feeling a bit <sighs> today. I had my vaccine, second one, yesterday. I don't know if it's that or I'm always moaning about being tired, aren't I? So who knows? I did do an email consultation with the doctors on Friday. I just thought, do you know, maybe I should get it checked. So I sent them an email consultation. What's the word? I just said it. Consultation. God dear. Um, on Friday. And I basically just said, I'm really tired all the time. Do I need to have my blood checked just to make sure I'm not anemic or anything like that? Anyway, I got an email on Monday saying we've sent your uh, prescription to the to your local pharmacy. I'm like, what? What prescription? So I went to the local pharmacy to find my prescription and they hadn't got a prescription for me. So I went down to the doctor's surgery and luckily we can walk in now. So. I said to the receptionist, I explained what happened and she said, oh, I think it was the doctor's error. They've got like standard email responses that they can send back. And instead of clicking there, please come in for a blood test, they'd say, uh, send her, we've sent your prescription to the pharmacy. So I've booked to have a blood test in a couple of weeks time. So that's good. Um, today, I don't have a lot planned. I don't have new stock because it was pouring on my, on Sunday. So I didn't go to the car boots. Um, we spent the weekend clearing out the house, did loads of work, probably why I'm a bit tired, moving furniture and all sorts of stuff. So um had a good old clear out. Sorry about this. So while we were having a clear out, we also tidied up my stock room, which inevitably gets messy. Um, and I brought stuff through that I need to price up and get out. There was some stuff that I'd bought years ago that I was selling on, going to try and sell on eBay and gave up on eBay a long time ago and it was still out the back and I was going to then give it to charity shops but I can't get to charity shops because you have to make an appointment and I don't have time for that so on Sunday I put loads of stuff out the front with signs on saying free help yourself and then I put a thing on the local Facebook page saying please help yourself it's free and 90% of it went which is great um, I'm, and then I was just tidying stuff up and I found some of my candles that um just extra stock for the shelf um i'm just opening them up now and they smell oh that one smells so gorgeous rhubarb and ginger lex likes that one it's really good and then i've got the relaxing and the calming oh there's loads more so if you look at my website if you're interested in vegan scented candles um yeah and then i've got all bits and bobs that either from upstairs things that we don't want that i can sell in the shop which is quite handy. I've got a, an illuminated bulb that, oh God, I can't speak at the moment, an illuminated globe that's just been back in the stock room for ages because it needed a new bulb. I sorted that out, so I've put that out. Just things like that. So that was today, is to just sort of clear some of the things that were lying around and get those out and then just plod through the day with my limited energy. I was quite lucky earlier when I took Jenny out, it was dry, but it's gone really dark. It's like night time. Picks up on camera very well, but it's, yeah, it's really dark out there. No people, just bands. I pretty much went off my healthy eating over the weekend, so I was eating all the carbs. So I've got to try and get back into my healthy eating again. Um, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but yeah, not, not great. Um, so I made myself salad for lunch and I had my load of carb breakfast, so Fingers crossed I can get myself back on track. One of the things we found when we were doing a clear out in the stock room and house was this old first aid box. We've never bought it. So the old owners who had this place before us must have had this. Look at that. Still got all the contents. Can't see how, whether it's still usable. I don't know. Look at that. Anyway. I'm gonna sell it. How's everybody doing? Good weekend? What did you get up to? Did you have a good sort out like me? Just pricing up some CDs that um, 
at one point I was trying to sell on eBay and I didn't sell and so now I'm pricing them up and put them out in the shop because they do sell all right in the shop. I just sell them at ranging between one pound or five pounds depending on the artist and the title. Um, I've discovered something great about wearing masks. Because when I'm scoffing my lunch and then people come in, put my mask on, I don't have to worry about bits in my teeth. Top tip. A little parcel came over the weekend. I was thinking, what the hell have I ordered now? I couldn't think of anything. Um, it was some jewellery that I got from Shelley, that I bought from Shelley. Um, some earrings and stuff. Um, there's a couple of things. Well, I think there's only one thing that I was going to keep for myself, which is... Oh, it's got tangled now. Bear with, bear with. Here we go. <clears throat> it's like a big pendant necklace. Can you see that? I thought that's cool. So I'm going to keep that for myself. So as long as I can make the money back the, by selling all the rest, then I've got that for free, which is the idea. One of the things that I got was this ring. Can you see it? Oh, it's just costume jewellery. But I put it on and I was like, oh, I really like that. I mean, I never used to wear pink near me. Look, pink nail varnish and a big sparkly ring. What's all that about? It's not me. It is now, apparently. Uh, I got that. What else did I get? Some a little cufflink tie bar. A little brooch with a doggy on. Some earrings that I'm just cleaning up and putting out. So, yeah, hopefully I can make enough money to pay for my pendant. And maybe the sparkly ring. Okay, so I've found some other potential keepers out of the jewellery that I got from um, Shelley. Can you see? So they've got like these, uh, is that Marcus? No, what's it called? Malachite, isn't it? Um, and green, I do love the colour green. So that I might have to keep those as well. Maybe if I give up the ring, then I won't feel so bad keeping two pa another pair of earrings. <laughs> right, um, a couple of things that I brought from the stock room. They've got that sort of industrial look, which I don't really go for in here. Um, hang on, I'm reluctant to turn the camera around because it's a real mess behind my counter. <laughs> hang on a second though. Okay, so I've got these metal, they're just metal boxes. I guess you could use it as a planter. This one's got a handle, God knows what it would have been used for, but it would make a great sort of umbrella stand or planter or something so there's those two and then there's this lamp which is so cool it's been sat in my stock room forever i have used it a couple of times myself and i really wanted to keep it but i can't see it fitting into my house at any point my style so i think i'm going to sell it reluctantly so i made decisions i decided not to keep the ring because it doesn't really go with my clothing or anything although it is with this pink nail varnish it didn't go with anything else so that's being sold and i'm not keeping the earrings either those malachite earrings because a few weeks ago i sold a malachite necklace that i'd got bead it had like malachite beads it was really nice um to a lady and she was telling me how she'd just done a course on the power of stones and things crystals and stones and stuff and how malachite is a very powerful stone and it can cause quite strong emotions and things. And I thought, I don't need any help with that. So they're being sold. It's very quiet today. There's nobody around. Um, I say that a lot, don't I? But it sort of averages out over the week. Obviously, I talk to you when it's quiet, if that makes sense. So I feel like I'm always saying it's quiet. Um, I've priced up that angle poised lamp. It's a proper vintage one. I've got it at 75 quid, which actually I think is very reasonable. So, and I've made a display of some enamel, the angle poise lamp and a couple of like metally boxy things at the front, which I don't normally do. <laughs> I'm normally about the pretties, but today I thought I'd do it slightly different. So I thought I'd show you. There we go. So there's that angle poise lamp. It's an old French enamel teapot and a pot there's that first aid box a metal box that i got off somebody recently and those two metal things now like chamber pot almost and a sign <laughs>
right, I'm going to end the vlog. Um, I've had a few people in, so it's not been a terrible day. And I am thinking I might lock up a bit early because I'm feeling a little bit ropey. And nobody's going to be coming in with this pouring rain. So we'll see how I feel. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you... Uh, what do I hope? I hope you're all well, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and... Um, Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon.